What's up guys, Kevin Rogers, owner, operator, and professional window tenor at On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Uh, I wanna go over some troubleshooting tips on my Workhorse 2 that I know will apply to the Workhorse 2, the Workhorse, and the EcoCut, as well as other machines like them. Uh, one of the biggest things that we get a lot of feedback on is film bunching. It's not the machine, there's just some things that we need to go over. Um, that's like I said, it's not one in particular machine. It's many of these machines if they're not set up properly and there's some th things that uh, need to be checked uh, in order to keep the film from bunching up. So I know that's a big one. I want to cover that, go over that. So we're going to get over to my plotter. Again, the workhorse to from plotterdebo.com. I'm gonna point some things out for you to check uh, and possibly fix on your machine and hopefully get you going bunch free. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in front of my Workhorse 2. Uh, there is a number of different things that can cause your film to bunch. Now, I've got a 24-inch roll already installed. Uh, we're going to look at that, but the first things, hopefully from the last videos or the setup videos, I'm thinking that you've probably seen. If you haven't, uh, this is one thing that's very big. Make sure that the tension screws, this is what they look like, mine are out on each and every roller on the back of the machine are completely loose, or if you're only running film and you don't need them, then take them out. That's first and foremost. Secondly, make sure that the rollers are in the middle of each and every neural roller below it. Make sure they're clean. Um, the rollers, the film positioning, the blade, the, the degree of blade, the blade setting, the force, the speed, there's so many different things that can cause your film to have issues especially bunching. All of them play a vital part. The beauty part is, is once you get most of these situated, they're kind of set and forget it. So again, totally loose on the tension screws on the back. Make sure that the rollers are centered properly on the neural rollers below them. And also make sure that your film is set up properly within the rollers. So first off, I want to look at the blade because that sometimes is your problem. It could be a doll blade, it could be not enough blade being out and you're using too much force. So the blade needs to be out about half a credit card thickness and it has to be a 25 or a 30 degree blade. Make sure those are the degree blades that are in your blade holder. Make sure that the blade is clean and it spins inside this blade holder extremely free. If it helps, you can take the blade out, put a tiny bit of WD-40 or something like that on it to make sure that it spins. You should be able to just barely run your finger across it and it spins really easy in the blade holder. It has to spin to make cuts, not catch, and uh, bunch your film up. So you've checked your rollers, they're clean, they're centered, your blade is set up properly, your force. If you've got too much downforce on your blade, it is going to pinch the film. It's gonna push on the film too heavy. If that happens, it could move the film it could cause it to track, and once it tracks, it could start bunching really fast. So, you've made sure that you're down to a 60 to 70 gram force on a 1.5 average mil film. Uh, you've got a, the correct blade in it. Your rollers are properly centered. They're clean, and there's no tension or additional tension on your rollers. Thing to check next is gonna be your cut strip. Make sure that your cut strip is good in great condition and there's no cuts in it. Now the white cut strip, I have yellow tape on mine, I'll explain that in a minute. The white cut strip that is below my yellow tape, it might be on your machine still, or should be still on your machine, uh, is your cutting surface. And it has to be clean, it has to be flat, it has to have no gouges in it. If you ever cut through the film and the liner, you've cut into that strip and that can cause you problems. Not so much bunching, but if the, it's, if the gouge is big enough, absolutely will bunch. So you'll wanna double check that. Make sure that the clear uh, protective tape that's on it when you first get it is peeled off. And after you peel it off, make sure that there's no leftover adhesive causing your material to stick to the adhesive as it's pulling in and out of the machine when it's making cuts because that one thing could stop your film and it's just gonna drive it behind it. And once it bunches just a little bit, it's gonna bunch a lot and it's gonna bunch very fast. Another thing with the blade is once it dulls, your instinct is to add more force. That's adding that more downward force. So the combination between a dull blade and too much down force can easily cause the film to bunch. Another thing is making sure that you're cutting between the two end rollers. So for example, 
let me move this film right to here. We have this much excess film past this roller and this much excess film past this roller. Even with the blade set up perfectly and just the, the crisp amount of force and running at a proper speed, by the way, which should be between 200 and 300 millimeters per second, does not need to go any faster than that. Shouldn't really be any slower than that. If your carriage, your blade runs beyond this roller as it's making a cut, and it comes back the other way, it's going to push your film in catastrophe. It's over. So you're making sure that your film's properly set or if in the event, there's been plenty of times I threw a piece of film up here and I just needed one quarter window and it fits easily between those two rollers, I might just throw it right there, make sure that I start my origin there and it cuts between the rollers. That's totally fine, but your cuts have to be between two end rollers. So make sure your film is set up properly. Let me move this back over here. Make sure your gram force is between that 60 and 70, your speed set between 250 and 300. Make sure that your cutting strip is in good condition, otherwise replace it or put a piece of tape on top of it for a new, fresh, clean, flat cutting surface. Tension's released, these are centered. Um, Let's get behind the machine and let me show you another thing that can cause problems, which is your static string. Behind the machine look, um, I'm gonna show you the tension screws again are on the bottom of each and every roller. Again, I took mine out. I don't cut PPF on this machine, at least right now, so I don't have a use for, this, for these. They will eventually loosen by themselves, so you constantly need to check them. If you're gonna leave them in, make sure they're all the way loose and check them every day to make sure they're not gonna fall out because they eventually will. Also, your static string is this string that hangs from one corner of the machine to the other. You are you're supposed to feed the film behind this string and the string should sit on it. In the event that possibly your string is too tight or you tightened it up, um, it can cause the film, it'll put tension on the film as it's trying to unroll and that can pull the sides in and cause it to bunch up. So you don't want that. It should be, the reason why it's this loose and no looser, and it has, should be this loose, is number one, to not put any pressure on the film, and number two, it's not loose enough to inadvertently ride with the material up under the machine and then get trapped between the rollers. So that's the reason for that. So that's really the only thing you need to be set up back here. Make sure all the tension is even and loose all the way across Strings in the proper area and your film's in the right area. That's for the most part it. If your rollers are good, your film's set up properly, you're cutting between the lines, uh, you got a good blade that's set properly and you're using the right blade and the static string is set up properly, then you shouldn't have any issues. In the event that you do, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help. Um, so far, I've been able to successfully get everybody cutting with their machines properly uh, and I would anticipate to be able to do the same for you if in fact you need my help. Reach out to Plotter Depot, plotterdepot.com, check out their YouTube channel. Uh, lots of helpful videos there. They're willing to help. I'm willing to help. I hope that helps. Uh, real quick recap, clean rollers, centered properly, no tension on your uh, tension screws on the back of the rollers. The Static string is loose as it should be. Your cut strip is in fantastic shape or there is a nice new clean piece of tape all the way across it. There's no adhesive anywhere on top of the machine to catch your film. You're using the correct blade. It's out the right amount, half the thickness of a credit card. Your speed is between 60 and 70 on a 1.5 mil average thickness film. And your speed is between 250 and 300 millimeters per second. So. That's, uh, that's the biggest things that we've been finding out so far, and hopefully that uh, helped somebody. But in the event you need more help, reach out, happy to do it. Thanks for watching.